Hi, Susan Heller with Remax Action here in sunny Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for visiting our video blog. And the topic today is homeowners associations. Buyers are coming to Florida from all over the country, and many of them are not familiar with HOAs. Homeowners Associations. What are they? What do they do? And what does it mean to me? And these questions are very important that you read thoroughly and evaluate whether it makes sense for you to be in a community with association. Because there will be restrictions, there will be guidelines, rules and regulations. And a lot of people find that that keeps the community nice. Everything is uniform. There will be additional fees for amenities and for common areas, which will often be a savings. For example, maybe the cable is included, your internet, your phone service. And that way, the HOA will negotiate with the provider a bulk rate that is a huge savings for you, the owner. The other thing that associations will do is they will come together as a board and they will decide what type of community they want to have when it comes to pets. Quite often there are pet restrictions, certain breeds or weight restrictions for owners and for renters. While we're talking about renters, there may be rental restrictions. You can rent a certain number of times per year, a certain number of days, and they may want to approve a potential renter. They may also have restrictions as to whether you can put a fence around your property, colors that you can paint the home, and quite often we will see what type of vehicles can be parked in the driveway, if any. It is common to have a motorcycle or a truck restriction. Quite often they'll say no work trucks, which means no lettering. So if you drive a work truck, or even if you have an SUV or a pickup truck, some communities are very particular and they're calling these vehicles, recreational vehicles, which would think that it is not a work truck, but some of these HOAs disagree. So before buying a property in a community with an HOA, you'll wanna be sure to ask questions up front, read the rules and regulations thoroughly, and be sure that it makes sense for you. Quite often, these communities are very well kept, well managed, and well run. You'll also want to look at the financials. So before making any major purchase, you'll want to make sure you know what you're buying. Always call Susan and make it a great day.